Hey guys, it's Elena Supreme here. And today I wanted to say that you read the title, you know what the deal is, but I want to make a few disclaimers before I get into it. One, this is not to bash any dogmatic religions at all, okay? This is based off of personal experiences. This is based off of my reflections, what I'm picking up from it, etc. This is not to persuade or sway anyone into thinking a certain way. If you still choose to listen, here's a rule. Listen to understand do not listen to respond and if you do decide to respond make sure that you come correct because if you don't okay so let's get started so I'll give you a background when I was younger I think I was like 10 12 years old something something like that 13 something okay um, I used to be a devoted Christian. I would go to church all the time in the summertime, like pretty much every day in the summer. I would go to church as much as I could during the school year. And um, I would study the Bible. Okay, I would pray. Um, I would worship, you know, all those good things. Okay, I would do all that. So, what I noticed is that when I repented, there was a whole different ball game. It was different from everything that I've done. What I picked up from repenting is that it did not teach me self-responsibility. If anything, it taught me why I should make excuses because I was no longer deemed worthy enough for the love. Of Jesus Christ okay and because I was not deemed worthy for love I belittled myself because that was told as humbling yourself you know so I'm not worthy enough for this thing to love me at all even though I kind of have no idea exactly to the fullest extent what this is but that's besides the point the point is i was not accepted because i was taught that i have to follow these rigid rules and if i don't then i have to say sorry every time i messed up and i messed up quite a bit so the first time it was like okay I'd, the first time or you could say me getting saved great i'm not going to hell awesome right afraid scared for my life the fact that i could have been going to hell then with that fear it then created something else i have to like say sorry if i mess up because if i mess up then that means that it's like jesus going through the pain again and i don't want jesus to go through pain again because I was a human <sighs> because I was a human being because of my flesh because of my worldly my worldly um, desires um, you know and because I keep messing up I don't deserve his love okay so imagine telling yourself that every week so now it's ingrained in your brain. Every week, every every freaking week, okay? That doesn't sound healthy. Not at all. How would you feel if you had a daughter? She was dating this guy, okay? He, he was so sweet. He did so many great things. He bought her, like, everything that she wanted. They, you know, rode off into the sunset. And then one day, let's call her Sally. 
Sally didn't wash the dishes. Her husband walks in. He's like, I did so much for you. Really? It's like that. And she's like, I had to work today. You know, it was a lot going on. I didn't get home from work until late. I'm sorry. Because made up great. Now, Sally didn't do the laundry. And now he's upset. He's like, how could you? How could you not do the laundry for me? I pay all the bills in his house. And now, she's really beating herself up now. Okay, because she was screwed up already once. And she screwed up again? Good freaking grief, right? What's good with this girl? Now. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to get you upset. Now in her head, he's so good to me. I don't deserve his love because like he's just so good to me. So good to me. You know what that does to a person? It's nothing good. If you tell ice, it's not good enough. You know what it's gonna look like? It's gonna look disgusting. If you tell a jar of rice, for 30 days that is not good enough guess what it's gonna mold disgustingly so guess what that's what i'm knowing myself not only that the mistakes they're my fault you know why because i'm a human being okay i'm a human being I made fleshly decisions fleshly freaking decisions don't you know you're more than this flesh but I had no idea what this entity actually was. <laughs> now, I'm not getting to learn myself. I'm getting to learn how to be more like Jesus. Disciple. How do you live your life? I did it. So, which is why I was always depressed, always crying, always just sad. Just sad. Even when I smiled at people, I was sad. Okay? Because now I'm out here thinking everybody got it together. The deers, the birds, the freaking trees got it together. I don't. Okay? There ain't nobody putting any strict rules on these creatures. Per se. But they got it together better than I do. So now, I got all these issues popping off. Because now, I don't have any value in myself. I don't think I'm worthy of nothing. I don't think I'm worthy of love. I don't think that what I do is a good thing. I always gotta ask people questions about what I should do for myself. Okay? It's the whole reason why I felt like I had to depend on somebody's advice. It's because I thought that my thoughts, my actions, was always a sin. It could be, should I go to school today? Who is living within you? That's the real question. That's the person that should have all the say in what's right, wrong, left, right, up, down. That's what it is, okay? And if this person was within you and they've been living within you for a while and they didn't leave, aka die, why don't you like get to like buddy with it? Like, hey you, how you doing? I started doing that to myself. Stopped repenting because now my repent weren't sincere anymore. It was more like I'm sorry that that happened versus I'm sorry that I did that. Because now I'm apologizing for something that I keep doing. And they say that if you keep apologizing for something that you've done over and over, you're more sorry that it happened and that they feel that way versus you actually doing it. Because now it's not an innocent mistake. Now it's just like. Then I felt bad. And I went back. And it was a process over and over. Then I realized why I stopped doing it. Because I destroyed my value by telling myself that I wasn't good enough for somebody else's love that I didn't know. Okay. Instead of researching more into a book, I started looking around. I started to look at myself and thought, well, what do you like to do?
instead of looking at you know a five-year-old version of myself the seven-year-old version that knew like the lessons of life that like 30 40 year olds was like out of the mouths of babes yeah let's go back to the babes okay what are the babes saying and i found out that fall in love with yourself because one day you're gonna be the only one you get and i found had to find out who that was i had to accept her i had to accept it like hey this is who you are this is what you like to do it's okay and then when you drop dead one day we'll find out what else is over there but right now live it learn learn freaking learn don't let nothing limit you you're an unlimited being like i had to take my power back the power i was born with which was my essence my my will, my voice, my love, my understanding, my compassion. I had to take that all back, put it in myself, invest it in myself. And then in doing that, I put down the book. I put down prayer. I put down the fact that something outside of myself has to accept me in order for me to accept me. I put down Christianity. And now I I can't, like things make a lot of more sense to me. I see things that I never thought was possible. I meet people and I'm not afraid. Damn it, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid that I, to look at something. I'm not afraid to 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 trust myself. Like I I I can't believe how much I didn't trust myself because I didn't trust myself and didn't trust my word. And because I didn't trust my word, I always had to lie. And because I always lied, which is why my repentings were insincere. And because my repentings was insincere, so were my apologies. Which is why my apologies meant nothing in the face of people that always asked me, Why did you do this? I never freaking had an answer for them. You wanna know why? Because I never had a freaking answer for God. Besides... I'm a human. Do I even really know what that is? No! So I let it go. Freaking just dropped it like a bad habit. And I feel like that's like the best decision I ever made in my life. <laughs> well, one of them. Along with other things. It's the best thing I could do for myself. Because now when I look at myself... I'm no longer afraid of what I see in my reflection. So many things like I appreciate about life in itself. I'm way more open-minded. I feel like my, my head's a little lighter. My body's a little lighter. It changed my life for the better. I think experiences are an important aspect of yourself. And according to my reflection, it was important that I seen Christianity the way I did and that I walked away from it and that I walked away from any dogmatic relationship with any other entity besides myself, which won't be a dogmatic relationship. So anything that you believe in, any principle, if you wholeheartedly believe in it universally, you will apply that principle into everyday life. And when I was a Christian, I had Christian thoughts. I apply that into everyday life. And I'm beyond sorry that that was what I was. But I'm happy that today I am what I am. And I'll be what I'll word is bond. One love.